Thompson News Incorporated presents Whatever Happened to Winning? March 13th, 1986. Canada's leading coffee shop, Tim Hortons, introduces Roll Up the Rim to Win. Coffee drinkers from all across the nation gave the contest a try. Within weeks, thousands of Canadians had rolled up the rims of their coffee cups to find thousands of prizes hidden underneath. Fun little prizes like another coffee or a donut or a fancy new sports car. There was much cheering and celebration. Tim Hortons grew. More winners won. Times were good. But alas, all good things must pass. The competition stepped in with copycat cups, claiming that every one of their cups won. The media made a lot of this erroneous propaganda, and pretty soon, a specter of doubt was cast. Suddenly, loyal Tim's roll-up rollers were wondering if anybody was winning with those once-revered roll-up cups. I've rolled up a few rims, and it hasn't been uh, very successful. Tim Hortons tried unsuccessfully to change Canadians' perceptions by increasing the number of prizes and improving the odds of winning. But it just wasn't enough. It's like the nation wanted to see proof that people were in fact winning. Did they want Tim Hortons to go to each and every one of the thousands of stores across Canada and count the people as they win? <laughs> Ridiculous and impossible, unless... And in that moment of genius, Tim Hortons found a way to go to each and every store across Canada and count the people as they won. They called the new counting invention a counter. Every time someone won, the counter would increase by one increment. With this counter posted in every Tim Hortons, people would finally be able to see the proof that there were real winners in their own store. They followed this up with a new television commercial that highlighted the sheer volume of winners and directed people to the website where anyone could go online and click on any store location across Canada and in real time see how many people were winning there. The nation was overwhelmed. The campaign message was clear. People were, in fact, winning prizes at Tim Hortons. Lots of people. Today, Tim Hortons' Roll Up the Rim to Win is one of the biggest promotions in North America. In March alone, there were 270,237,000 cups rolled. And the counter was there to prove every winner. In the end, Tim Hortons had won. And needless to say, they cheered. The naysayers were never heard from again.